Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to take you through the recent uh, news from Microsoft Learn about uh, applied skills. That is wonderful. I had the chance uh, to take uh, one of the exams. Actually, you can call it exam or not because uh, there are differences that I'm going to show you uh, here in this chart also published by Microsoft Learn. Uh, but the questions I get uh, either on socials and uh, also in learning rooms. So just going to, to make it more clear. So what's the goal of uh, applied skills and um, why should we do that and how it would affect our career and our CV and uh, the organization we are working or the, the organizations we would like to apply and prove uh, that uh, we are skilled about this service, for instance, Microsoft Azure uh, Monitor or uh, uh, container services. So the main differences between actual role-based certifications and applied skills that here you just prove that you are skilled with that service. In this case, again, Microsoft Azure Monitor. Uh, so uh, this is amazing because you actually take the exam in a, in a laboratory. So you are given a lab uh, within, within the browser that you take the exam and you get objectives and you execute those objectives as, as it, it is requested. For instance, it might ask you uh, to configure some features of Azure Monitor or some features of uh, logging and auditing. Uh, features uh, for your resources, for your uh, app services, for your virtual machines. And in that way, you prove that you are skilled with that service. You are skilled with container services. How can you deploy? But comparing it with the actual exam that you take, um, for instance, role-based certifications, exam 104, 305 for architecture or administrator. There you prove that you are skilled with bunch of services within Microsoft Azure. So you understand, you can provide solutions, so you can configure multiple services, you can design, you can prepare documentation. And again, comparing to applied skills, here you just prove you are skilled with that service, with that specific service. So here I'm gonna take you through the, the chart uh, which is published also by Microsoft Learn. So here we can see the main differences between Microsoft certifications and Microsoft applied skills. So the thing is here, as we compare here, as it is compared by Microsoft Learn, so we can see that you validate your broad technical proficiency. And at the other hand, you validate one specific skill as mentioned in the video. And it is the Microsoft certifications are role based. So you pass the fundamentals and you get to know the basics and the structure, and then you go into role based certification. So it could be an administrator, architect, or any role that you would like to take, developer or other paths. So at the other hand, we have project based. So you take the exam based on a project, based on a real world scenario that you could face uh, in your organization or in the future, or you already experienced it. So it's like a project that, uh, that the exam asks you to execute uh, a few tasks in order to achieve the goal of the project. So it has like the timing and it has the deadline. So you read through the documentation, you read through the requirements, and in a live environment, you configure those services. Once you finish uh, the laboratory, the, the, the whole requirements, then you submit your uh, project and it assesses your um, submitted configuration and then it returns, with, uh, returns to you with a result. So comparing again, so it says breadth of skills, comparing to the other hand says scenario specific skills so that means with microsoft certifications and role based so you as it is mentioned so mentioned also at the beginning of the video so you prove a, a broad of skills uh, once you you are taking a microsoft certification 
or a role-based certification so you prove that you are familiar with admin at the administrative level or at the architect expert level to design and um, provide solutions and uh, as an advisor as a trusted advisor but here you prove that you are uh, skilled again with a specific skill so it is scenario based at the other hand again with the role-based certifications it's exam with interactive elements but at the other hand assessment via interactive lab experience as mentioned again so here you deal with laboratories you deal with actual resources so you click you configure you execute tasks you deploy resources you configure resources and so on the microsoft certifications are scheduled so once you schedule on that date on that time you need to be in there and or even earlier so you need to check in you need to pro provide identification and identity documents you need to show your uh, exam room and your desk and once it is approved by the proctor then you start your exam so the exam released but on the other hand it's on demand it's it looks like a microsoft certification renewal uh, but it differs a little bit so it's whenever you want to take the exam so you just click and starting your exam and you take the exam i hope that was helpful and uh, you were able to to use uh, some information here so if you have any questions again regarding microsoft applied skills and comparing it to microsoft certifications just let me know in below the video in the comments or just ping me through the socials